Let's go ahead and take you to five things you need to know to get you started for your Wednesday. United Auto Workers threatening more walkouts by noon Friday if the big three and the union do not make progress at the negotiation table. UAW President Sean Fain plans to go live Friday morning at 10 with updates. But in Canada, Unifor Union ready to go on strike until Ford made a last minute offer for extended talks. They reached a tentative deal just last night. It avoids a strike of more than 5,000 workers. No word yet on what caused the major uh, home to explode Tuesday morning in Bay City. Crews were dispatched shortly after 6 to the scene on Joseph near Wilder. The house was in flames. So the resident was outside by the time they arrived. No injuries there reported. Central Michigan University projects a 1% drop in fall enrollment from last year. And schools like CMU are banking on a program called the Michigan Assured Admission Pact. It guarantees admission to a student with a 3.0 GPA while reducing student anxiety in the admission process while putting together a uniform admission standard. Flint making a major investment in the arts. The Greater Flint Arts Council is getting more than $1 million grant from the CS Mott Foundation. The work includes updating the gallery space and performance stage. Construction does begin this fall. Happening today, the groundbreaking of the garden building in downtown Grand Blanc. The site will feature space for offices, apartments, and restaurants. That includes a beer garden. It's expected to open next August and bring 75 jobs to downtown. So the groundbreaking is this afternoon.